Good morning and good day wherever you are. Different time zones, but we will start every day to the same time. We have five days a week, five different traders, real time daily trading ideas. So let's start. 15 to 20 minutes daily, but quick and smart. We will speak about trading ideas, strategies, market screening, and maybe one or two questions from your side directly answered on our webinar. Of course, we will start always with the same with a risk disclaimer. Forex and CFDs are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. If you are a starter, please start with a demo account to make yourself familiar with trading long and short and your personal risk management. Check out the full risk disclaimer if you like to at admiralmarkets.com or all our other web pages if you like. This is me. My name is Jens. My English is made in Germany, but maybe, oh, and hopefully some of my quality too, but I'm not the main speaker. The main speakers are, of course, the day traders. This is our scheme. On Monday, it's Jay's day. On Tuesday, it's Paul's day. On Wednesday, it's Mike's day. Like today. On Thursday, it's Nina's day. And on Friday, it's Dirk's day. Our leading day traders live. Today's actions are to, uh, tomorrow results. Yeah, and of course, We would be happy if you trade Forex and CFDs. If you do it with us, you will get lots of benefits only with us. For example, MT4 and MT5 with tuning, boosting, MT4 and MT5 Supreme Edition. You will get over 60 additional free add-ons, which help you for your daily trading. For example, choosable leverage. It's your choice if you like to get a 10 leverage or maybe 500 leverage maximum. You can choose the leverage at other markets, not at all the other Competitor brokers, so another benefit. For example, best spreads for DAX 30 CFD, one of our best seller typically spread just 0.8. Check out all benefits where at admiralmarkets.com, of course. Of course, you will find on our webpage also our regulatory background and of course also our contact details like telephone, like email or our other channels like YouTube or Facebook. Admiralmarkets.com will lead you through all. And now from my side, now it's time for Nenad, our day trader of the day. Hi, now it's your time, Nenad, your view to the markets. Hi, Jens. Great to hear from you. And as always, a very, very nice introduction. Now you mentioned the leverage. I'll just be quick with these guys. <coughs> I will explain. Uh, you see, this is the real account, MT5, of course, Admiral Markets, and my favorite leverage, 1 to 500. This is how I trade it. Now, uh, people ask me, uh, how come, Nena, that you like that leverage much? Why do you use it? So, you see, guys, I just made this uh, deposit to prove that basically uh, you can trade successfully with big leverage. And before I show you setup, I just want to show you this example. So, if I deposit, you see, my deposit was 200 euros only, and my account currently is 541 when my uh, account dropped to 79.93% uh, uh, of drawdown that is when i use this leverage 1 to 500 because i deposit 200 i can afford to lose 200 it's not a problem on my other account that is much higher my leverage is i always use lower leverage but when you trade with lower accounts in order to get this account even to four five figures you need to use this leverage in a smart way. So I used my leverage just to get out of these bad trades because I had few positions running and I, I had the possibility to add one more position. Okay, and I made it in a positive territory. When I get this account to 2,000, 3,000 euros, then I will in initially drop my leverage. So I'm not always using a full leverage when I open a trade. So this leverage actually allows me to use 1 to 10, 1 to 20, or 1 to 500. And I use this leverage only when my trades are running in a dangerous territory. And this is what I've been teaching. This is what I know. And I, I've been doing this for a lot of times. And I've been tripling all these small accounts. And my personal record is making 2,500 out of 200 euros. I also have summary this my fixed book statement uh i can send to, to whoever want to see it uh, just need to find it so basically this is what i do this is the smart use of the leverage when your drawdown is big then you use leverage to get uh, out of these bad trades but of course you need you need to know how to do it that is why i always teach people to use uh, this leverage uh, this is my favorite favorite leverage one to five times Okay, now let's move on to uh, today's possible setups. So I will show you what uh, we could possibly 
uh, trade today uh, I will show you my screen now here so you see this is a GBP dollar and today we will have a BOE rate decision it's very important day for the GBP dollar so uh, we don't know what their decision will be and we still don't know whether the votes will be bullish or bearish so we don't know that and it's it's like guys uh if you trade gbp dollar it's my advice is wait you need to wait for a boe decision and then go with levels if you see that the price is going down this is a possible level to go long because even if it drops you see even if it drops it will be like 152 150 pips of a drop no matter what what their the decision will be even if it drops for 150 pips i think that this level at least should give you a short-term scalping opportunities because obviously this is strong level it's monthly l4 level and uh the, the the thing is that if you go long here you can do it with a small stop 20 25 pips and i think that if the price gets around this level it doesn't need to be exactly 3704 let's say 3710 20 25 pips of a stop loss and you can enter a nice trade targeting 3750 because then we we basically go with after these fundamental news events we need to go with rounded rounded numbers and banks like to use these rounded numbers so 3750 you can also see an order block preview swing here so if it drops here we can try to go long now obviously the price is congesting here you can see a congestion here the price drop then it reversed this is some sort of a piercing line bullish pattern but now it's dropping why because there is a profit taking on the gbp dollar and it's normal because uh, there will be some strong news today and it's normal that we have a profit taking so my advice is to go uh if you if you do it try to go uh try to go long on that level yeah another trade that i wanted to mention i already traded a euro yen today but i'm still in in this trade and i will show you right now market orders uh here guys uh this is basically euro yen one hour time frame uh anywhere from 134 25 to 35 is basically where you can make entries i made you see this is very very small 0 0.15 and here basically you can actually uh, if you see that the price went below this ma and it started to make a head and shoulders this looks like left shoulder uh, this is head this if it jumps this could be right shoulder so if if this uh, starts to develop uh, in my way so if this starts to drop then definitely definitely uh, uh, i will protect my trade once it breaks uh, this level 133.89 because we have strong support 133.74 is weekly l5 i'm not sure i really don't know i'm not sure that it can go past this level but course theoretically it can but why risk okay so if if uh, i see a nice rejection towards this level or this level i will protect my trade so i already traded today uh, euro yen and i made the uh, pips uh, so uh, you can well whatever you can join you can leave it uh, if you want to join then stop loss should definitely be above this price 134.57 so let's say 134.60 uh because if it goes up then the chance is that the price will reverse to the upside and uh that is a uh, euro yen so uh i'm watching for yen pair generally because of the yen strength and as i said i'm watching also for the gbp dollar here you can see also on the mt5 okay it's it's very 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 uh con is congestion time it needs to break 3840 in order to proceed further down guys have in mind that price range is usually in between daily h3 camarilla and daily l3 camarilla so before a trend develops usually when traders are waiting for something the price will uh, juggle between daily h3 and daily l3 it's usually like that and you see 
Now the price went to daily H3, it rejected, now it's close to daily L3. So the only way it can proceed further down is to actually, <coughs> sorry, uh, it's actually to break this 38.40 to the downside. But then you see again, weekly L5 level 38.20, this could be good for maybe for short term, a scalping trades if the price starts gradually to grind towards this uh, weekly L5, then you could possibly get also in a scalp trade. And definitely, as I said, lower levels are good to make some. I will open uh, this MT4. Okay, so uh, monthly level here. Okay, uh, for a possible short time uh, swing trade. Let me uh, scalp trade. Let me show you. Okay, for our time frame. Okay, 37.05. So pay attention on a bullish, on a, on a bearish uh, drop. This is the level to try to go counter trend. If the price spikes to the upside, okay, after the BOE rate decision, okay, then you really need to uh, pay attention to this level first, 39.57, uh, uh, because it will be a retest. I assume, you see, this is dynamic zone, monthly L3. 39.48, 39.60. So it could reject from this price initially. So try to watch it, guys. Try to uh, mark these levels on your chart. Uh, I don't know which uh, kind of pivots you use, whatever, but you know, Camarillas, is, is, it's my personal preference. I really love it and price respects it to a huge extent. So mark it down at least these levels, 39.57. Uh, you can mark this one, 38.20. 37.05, also ATR projection, 37.55. These are all levels that you could get into a scalp trade, providing that the price gradually grinds, not dropping. You, you don't want to catch a falling knife. It needs to gradually go down. Or if it spikes, it needs to gradually spike towards these levels. Okay. Um, now I will reply to some questions. Andre is asking uh, why the leverage is a problem as long as risk is managed and exceeding 1% to 2%. In my opinion, Andre, leverage is not a problem at all. Okay. As Yen said, it's you just need to choose your right lever leverage. As I explained, a big leverage will help you to guys, you know, it's psychology. I know because I've been trading for, for a long time. When your account drops, you really want to get out of those bad trades. And instead of depositing more money, you can use bigger leverage. I already told you, this ESMA proposal is a pure nonsense. It, it doesn't lead to anywhere what they are proposing because traders will put more money and FCA will not like it. Instead of putting more money on your trade, you can use leverage. And it's perfectly normal. It's perfectly normal, guys. As, as I said, you, you need to choose your leverage. Try to use bigger leverage when you're in a sort of problem. Instead of depositing more money, Use bigger leverage. And there is a big chance that if you know what you're doing, that you will be actually doing the right thing and you will be getting out of your bad trades. I already showed you my uh, my FX book. And just will we'll show you, uh, you see what I said uh, on the leverage. If I'm leveraged 20 to 1 and I'm up 150 pips, I want to add my position. How is that running undue risk? So if I'm already uh, if I'm already leveraged 20 to 1 and I want to add position, if the leverage is 30 to 1, I might not possibly be adding position. So that's really stupid and I totally don't agree. Personally, I don't agree with, with these ESMA proposals at all. Okay, so that is the answer to, to, to your questions. The bigger the leverage, guys, the better it, it is for you if you know what you are doing. Believe me, I manage so many accounts and I, thank, thanks to big leverage, I manage not to deposit more money, but to actually get out of the bad trades. Okay, uh, Kusuik ask, was asking how long it takes to make 200 to 2,000 euros. My personal record is 2,500 and I managed to make it in a month. Uh, this uh, MT5 account will probably go uh, slower because I really don't want to risk now. There is a lot of volatility in the market. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm using slightly lower leverage for initial trades than I use for the account, uh, which I got to 2,500. Uh, uh, Andre, 
is asking is it a possible buy on euro 2160 let's see uh, 21 yes i think it is uh not just 2160 okay but actually you see here it's 2175 okay so definitely definitely yeah you have a possible buy trade here let me see for our time frame let me see i think you're right andre yes you see you're correct correct with your assumption guys uh, this is pure price action andre got it uh, i don't know if you watch my price action trading school but exactly this is what i was talking about all the time in forex market the biggest advantage is that history repeats itself so if these were the buyers exactly at this point the chance is that they will appear in now moment so if the price gets down there guys watch for possible buy because obviously for from 2160 the price went th 377 pips so in now moment it should jump for some definitely should make pips to the upside we don't know how much but this is the level to go long indeed yes i agree okay guys uh, i think that uh, if you don't have any other question we can uh, call it a day you really need to be careful as i say today because of the boe rate decision and uh, definitely uh, gbp dollar is uh, bearish now but who knows what will happen okay we have one or two minutes so let's take a look also to dow and dax we had on monday to tuesday a big flash crash so it's time for this week to look also to dow and dax please oh sure sure uh dax yeah we can we can start uh okay let me see uh okay i just will add it here okay so dax first indeed okay yeah we have though we have dax okay yeah yeah that this is <laughs> i mean I, i've seen this <laughs> so many times in the past i this it's always it's always like this guys it's it's always like this uh this is so-called v-shaped reversal this v-shaped reversal or you can call it a diving board pattern you can find some info also on the internet this is a very obvious pattern when something drops heavily usually there is also a big correction now what would i say to dax you just need to draw a trend line guys okay this is two touch trend line okay so obviously this is double top here you can neglect this top because this is also this corresponds to this double top this uh, is the close of retail gap and here if the price breaks through this x cross here uh, 12 six, uh, 646 to the upside above this trend line and this uh, weekly l1 there is a chance that the price will go to uh, 20 uh, 12 712 12 777 and 12 907 so above is a bullish price action and you need to watch for these levels however guys if the price gets a nice bearish momentum there is also a trend line here you see this is congestion after the v-shaped reversal watch for four hour close below this level here if the price makes a close here or even even better below this weekly l4 monthly l5 because this is a strong support there is a possibility that the price will go further down but this is definitely a correction and as i say it's not a coincidence that these corrections happen because usually guys when, when those corrections happen uh big players at algos you know it's not like just manual traders there are algo, algo traders so specialized software that also trades the price they can also make uh, moves like this because it's either a profit taking from people who shorted uh, dex or it's it's a correction by algos so uh, what I would say, you need to wait. Uh, clear close above this level for hour should spike the price up. Clear close below the trend line or much better below this, this confluence here. 12, uh, 320, 303, definitely below 12, 300. The price should go again down. Uh, okay, I will check also. Uh, yeah, just me, let me see what my trade is going. Yes, you see now I'm also in profit. The price is going as i predicted okay nice okay now we go to um, we go to uh dough okay uh let's see let's see here okay yeah oh, well it's normal guys it's correlation it's correlation um, 
there is a correlation matrix here. You can always use it, guys, to see the correlation between equities. Okay, so we can add uh, actually uh, DEX uh, 30. Okay, and let's let me just check something. And Dow Jones Index. Uh, Dow Jones. Okay, add save. Let me see. There should be a positive. Wow. Yeah, of course. Dex 30 versus DGI 30. Uh, DJI 91 correlation. Guys, this is very strong. This is hugely positive correlation. And you can see by price action here. You see, this is now even more obvious. This looks like V shaped reversal, and this could be a head and shoulders. Shoulder, head, shoulder. So if the price does not break this level, or it can go like this and then reject. I mean, it needs to stay below weekly L3. This could be a rejection to the downside. I mean, even on Dow Jones Industrial, I see much better pattern than on DAX. But because they're in, in a correlation, okay, because they're in correlation, so it could drop definitely because of this head and shoulders after the V-shaped reversal correction. So this looks bearish to me, Yes, This looks bearish, uh, shoulder, head, shoulder. If it stays below weekly L3, really, I think it should drop towards these levels. Uh, just you need to watch guys for continuation. So if, if it already started to drop, you see it already started to drop from this mini top. This is mini top on the right shoulder. And it needs to go below this uh, line, below this support to proceed further down towards weekly L5. But as I say, it's bearish, but it needs to stay below weekly L3. If it breaks, then it could go more to the upside, follow the same levels here. Weekly L1, Camilla, H1, H3, you need to mark it down on your charts. Yes, SP500, every, every equity has a great correlation really between themselves. So yeah, uh, yeah, Franjo is uh, asking, uh, are you, uh, Franjo, you, you're referring to binary options, right? Yeah, I, I don't like binary options. If anything should be forbidden, in my opinion, it's binary options because it's, it's a pure gambling. It's, it's nonsense. It's not, uh, this is, guys, this is science. I can prove everyone that this is science. I can write a book, 500 pages on, on technical trading. And binary options are not science. Binary options are pure gambling. So it, this, this is really uh, something special. And you should treat it either as a part-time business or full-time job. Because whatever you do, guys, you need to have your plan to trade. You need to treat it as a professional business. And this is not gambling. Trading CFDs is not gambling. Without brokers, you can't go out on these markets, guys. That is why brokers are intermediary between you and the market. And that is why we use leverage. We Thank need you it. for now. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow it's Friday. So Dirk will be the date trader of today. Thank you a lot, for, uh, Nenad's view to the markets. If you'd like to see it again, a couple of hours later on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Markets. You will find it or just visit AdmiralMarkets.com or one of our other global web pages. And of course, our YouTube channel is always linked. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Tomorrow is another day. Hope I have you as a participant tomorrow here too. Greetings from Berlin office. Bye bye. Cheers and trade safe.